Praise the Lord, beloved, for this is truly the day that the Lord God has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We thank the Lord God for each and every opportunity that he gives us to come into his house, to be able to give him honor and to give him glory. Beloved, I know you may not be present right now, but the Lord God is already preparing the way. And for that, we bless him and we exalt him and we magnify him. For truly, truly, our God is a good God. Amen. No matter what we may find ourselves uh, being subjected to, whatever we encounter in this life, it does not change the very fact that God is a good God. Amen. And that God is worthy to be praised. So we do praise him even now from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. You question, why do we praise God? Because the word says his name is worthy to be praised. And he is, for there is no other name that man can be saved other than the name of Jesus. And for that, we thank him and we bless him. As we now praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Our call to worship this morning. Amen. I was excited when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet have been standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. I will sing of loyalty and of justice to you, O Lord, I will sing. Amen, beloved, and let us join in uh, as we sing our hymns unto the Lord God, and may God continue to be glorified. I'm 
ages past, our hope for years to come. Father, during this pandemic, you have been our healer, provider, and keeper. Father, in the name of Jesus, we say thank you. Bless our families. Let us continue to draw closer in and with love. Father, bless our world leaders, president, vice president, congress, senators, supreme court justice, governor of each state, Mary each city. Much is given, much is required. Strengthen them, Lord. Give them the wisdom and grace. Let them all speak and act with honesty and integrity in all our situations. Continue to shower your blessing and anointing on our ministerial staff, ministers, musicians, all board members. Continue to keep our pastor, first lady, and the Sterling family. Give Pastor the strength he needs. Pastor has been our praying partner, a wise counselor, putting family and love back in right relationships. During this pandemic, he has had so many tasks to fulfill and none was left undone. Let us continue to call your name, humble ourselves, pray and seek your face, and turn from our wicked ways. Then we can hear from heaven and you will forgive our sins and will heal our land. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you for hearing your servant's prayer. Once again, amen. Amen. And now we'll be reading the scripture. The scripture comes to us from Acts chapter 19, verses one through seven. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul paused through the interior regions and came to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They replied, no, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Then he said, and to what then were you baptized? They answered, into John's baptism. Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 of them. May God bless the hearers and doers of the word. To God be the glory. Beloved, we continue to bless God and we continue to give him praise because truly he is our God and we are the sheep of his pastor. And I just want to go ahead and thank at this time those that are participating in the worship experience, a man that will come in and read scripture and give prayer. We are so, so grateful. Uh, last Sunday we had Brother Ray and his beloved wife. We thank God for you all. Amen. And today we praise God for those that will be reading scriptures. Amen. And lifting up a prayer before our God. At this time, beloved, we'd want to offer up our tithes and our offerings unto God. Uh, truly, we cannot beat God's giving, no matter how much we try. For he is so, so grateful. You know, I thank God for his word. And so even as he allows me to speak forth his word uh, each Sunday regarding the offering, 
Beloved, receive those words because those are the words of the Lord. And as we internalize that word, then we'll start believing that word. As we start believing that word, then we'll start receiving from that word. Amen. Because God's word has been tried, has been tested. Amen. That's why he says, prove me now, says the Lord, to see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. God's word has the power to devour the enemy, even for our sake. Praise God. Amen. So give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down, shaken to, together what God calls men to give unto us. Amen. Scripture says, amen, I am blessed in the city. I am blessed in the field. I am blessing my coming in and my going out, my laying down and my rising up. Amen. I am like a tree, glory to God, planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit in my season. My leaf shall not wither. And whatever I do will prosper. Praise God. And that's from the psalmist. Amen. The Bible goes on to say that God delights in our prosperity. He gives us power to get wealth that we may establish his covenant upon the earth. Amen. I delight myself in the Lord and he gives me the desires of my heart. So, beloved, at this time, we lift up our tithes, our offering, and our benevolent gifts unto the Lord. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord God, for blessing us to be a blessing. To be able to give, Lord God, for the continued upbuilding of your kingdom. For, Lord God, you love a cheerful giver. So we cheerfully give, not begrudgingly, nor of necessity. So thank you, Father, for blessing us to be able to be a blessing. For we truly know that all things come from you, Lord God. And so we're humbled and honored to be able to give for the continued upbuilding of your kingdom. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. And my beloved brothers and sisters, we thank God for your giving. And it does. It honors the Lord. The Lord God has uh, given us different platforms where we can give unto him. Uh, Giveify, Cash App. PayPal, praise the Lord. We're grateful for those platforms. And you can continue to mail your tithes, your offerings, and your benevolent gifts into the office. Or for those who just like to come by, amen, you can drop them off at the church. And so we're so grateful for your continued giving unto the Lord. And now, beloved, we give God praise, amen, as we receive our sermonic selection.
you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you, we exalt you, we magnify you. Truly, Father, for you alone are worthy to be praised. We thank you, Father, for your grace. We praise you for your mercy. Your love and kindness, God, which is better than life. We thank you for being our healer, our deliverer, our everything that we need in this life and life to come. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that Christ will continue to be formed in our hearts. Lord God, that we will love the way you love, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the grace to abide under the shadows of the Almighty, Lord God. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you continue to strengthen our inner man through the power of your word and your spirit, and that you'll continue to be glorified. For truly, Lord God, there's none like you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We praise you, we worship you, and we bless you, Lord God. Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord God, my rock and my redeemer. For it's in the name of Jesus that I do pray. Amen. Amen and amen, beloved. Beloved, if you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Psalms uh, 91. Psalms 91. And I will be reading out of the English Standard Version of the Bible. Again, Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, he is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to befall me, no plague come near your tent. For he commands his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Beloved, I just want to talk with you for uh, just a few moments. Uh, praise the Lord and just use the subject, he's the same God. He's the same God. And you wonder why would I be ministering once again on Psalms 91. I'm reminded that a little over a year ago, as a matter of fact, March in 2020, that we ministered out of this Psalms. Fear was gripping our country. Fear was entering into our communities, into our homes. Glory to God. Amen. And God gave us this Psalms. And the Lord God wants us to understand that even when different variants are coming through this COVID-19, that he is still the same God. Praise the Lord. We are here, amen, not because of anything that we've done, not because of we greatness or anything like that, but we are still here simply because of the grace and mercies of God. Praise the Lord. And the word of God has not changed. Psalms 91 is just as effective and powerful today, glory to God, as it was in March 2020. So we lift up and we magnify the Lord God. The Lord says that he that dwells in the secret place shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Where God's word is conditional, praise God, that we grow and we continue to learn to abide in the word and God's word abides within us, beloved. And then we start experiencing that 
blessed assurance of the very presence of God. Amen. That God's word lives and dwells down on the inside of each and every one of us. And that we are able to call upon the name of the Lord, not just for salvation. We know that Jesus' name is the only name that man can be saved. So when we call upon him, we thank God for that salvation. We praise God for the power of his spirit that comes to live and dwell down on the inside of us. And you know, beloved, sometimes, amen, God has brought us to and brought us through some things. And then we find ourselves, amen, again in some situation. And we wonder, well, where is God? Well, God is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. That even though we find ourselves yet in the midst of a pandemic, even though we find ourselves yet in the midst of social injustices, uh, injustices, even though we find ourselves yet in the midst of confusion, even though we find ourselves, amen, in areas where we need reconciliation, even though we find ourselves where there are haters, praise the Lord, but God says, I am still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. I am the one that was and is and the one that's coming again. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Glory to God. I'm the one that gives life and give it more abundantly. And he helps us to understand, praise God, that no matter what may come our way, praise God, that he is the same God. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us and helps us to understand that God is a deliverer. You know, many times we live our lives and people see who we are today, but they really don't know our yesterday. They don't know all that we have gone through, praise God. They don't understand our praise. They don't understand our glory. They don't understand of lifting up and magnifying the Lord God, praise God. <clears throat> Excuse me, because he is a God that's worthy to be praised. When you find yourself in a situation, praise God, and you know that you cannot make a change, you cannot bring yourself out of that glory to God, but then you start looking up to the hills with come at your help, knowing that your help comes from the Lord, then you find that God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask a thing according to the power of God that resides on the inside of us. And amen, that is wonder working power. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Bible lets us know that God is a refuge. He's faithful. He's a shield and he is a buckler. Amen. And we don't have to fear what may come our way because God has not given us that spirit of fear. <clears throat> but God has given us the spirit of love, power, and soundness of mind. That even though we see all of these things taking place and going on around us, that we have the grace and the mercies of God that will continue to sustain us, that will continue to be there with us no matter what may come our way in the name of Jesus. Paul tells us in Corinthians, he said, well, um, in Romans, what can separate us from the love of God? Praise God. It doesn't matter trials, tribulation. It doesn't matter things past, things that have come, high depth, principalities of powers. Praise God. Amen. That God's love, amen, uh, is just so immeasurable toward us. And we are grateful for that love. <clears throat> and he, he who has begun a good work in us, praise God, that he is able to finish it. Because we have been sealed. I mean, because we've made the Lord God our dwelling place. Praise God. He tells us that no evil shall come nigh us or befall us. No plague. No matter what that plague may be, praise God, can come nigh our tent. <clears throat> Why? Because we have the blood of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, we have the blood of Jesus. That blood covers our doorposts. We apply the blood of Jesus through prayer, through faith. Amen. So that when all of those different things that come to take us out, praise God, it's going to have to pass over, beloved. Because we believe. Because we abide up in the, under the shadows of the Almighty. We can say truly that in the time of trouble, our God is our refuge. Our God is our fortress. And because God is faithful, he's a covenant God, and he cannot lie. And for that, beloved, we definitely give him the praise. The Lord gives his angels charge over us. And because those angels, amen, are in charge of us, then we are just so blessed that we can continue to call upon the name of the Lord. 
Call upon him because he's worthy to be praised. Call upon him, amen, because he's there morning, noon, and night. He is there. Everything that we need in this life and the life to come. Even in the psalmist in Psalms 27, he says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? For the Lord is the stronghold and strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? That even when evildoers assail me and come to eat up all my flesh, my adversaries and my foe, it is they who stumble and fall. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have you found yourself in a situation recently and it appears that the enemy was coming in like a flood? But your God raised up a standard. You stood on the power of God's word. Glory to God. And your enemy had to go sit down. Lord have mercy. Amen. Every obstacle that the enemy tried to put in your place, God made a way where it seemed to have been no way. You went before different people. Praise the Lord God. Amen. And then God gave you favor. Amen. And you're not boasting, hallelujah, and not taking vengeance, but you're saying, God, you're a great God. Lord God, you're a good God. Amen. Lord God, you're my everything. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we give a testimony, taste, and see that our God is good. Many times people see us going through, well, where is your God? Hallelujah. Well, you just keep watching. You just keep holding on. Amen. That we've got testimonies from old. Amen. That God can be in the fiery furnace with you. Amen. That God can be in the lines. Dana, that God can be a bridge over troubled water. God can be a man away where there seems to be no way. God can be a judge, hallelujah, in a courtroom. God can be everything that you need. He can be a healer, glory to God, in the hospital room. He can be a great physician when you go into the operating room. God can be a God that can reconcile. He's able to keep together what he's put together, amen, that no man can separate because he is God and he is the great I am and he alone is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Beloved, I come to stop by to let you know that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. No matter what come our way that we still are able to lift up, magnify, and to give God praise because our God is worthy to be praised. And so we bless him. Even now from the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. For his name alone is worthy to be praised. He keeps on blessing me over and over again. Hallelujah. So I don't mind giving God some praise. I don't mind lifting him up. I don't mind magnifying him. Hallelujah. I don't have to fear what may come. Because I know that God is God. I know that God is watching over us. I know that God is doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think of. I know that God is faithful. I know that the word of God is true. I know that when you call upon the name of Jesus that he'll be their friend that sticks closer than a brother. I know that our God uh, is risen from the dead. Uh, hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. And because God raised him from the dead, uh, now I have a chance at life. Uh, I have a chance at that abundant life. I have a chance of salvation. I have a chance to live a new life. I have a chance to be all that God has called me to be. I have a chance, amen, uh, to be able to lift up and to give God some praise. Hallelujah. We give him glory. We honor the Lord God and we bless him for being the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Beloved, May the love of God that should have brought in your heart by the power of the Spirit continue to reach, to be magnified here on earth. There may be someone, glory to God, and you have not made that quality decision. You don't know that God is faithful. You don't know that he's the same God yesterday, today, and forever, and that God can truly save. As we pray for you. We believe that God will save and give you life and give it to you more abundantly. And let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for salvation. Thank you for the gift of life abundantly. Jesus, hear the prayer of your people to save, give eternal hope in the true and the living God. We ask God even now that you would touch the hearts, receive your Savior and your Lord. Your sins are forgiven, cleansed through the blood. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Now, beloved, as we continue to bless God and to give him praise, we affirm our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, and suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, and the third day he arose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come the judge to quicken the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we praise God from whom all blessings flow. Now, beloved, as we prepare to leave this place, never his presence, we pray, Father, that the sweet communion of your spirit will rest, rule, and abide within each and every heart, henceforth and forevermore. And the people of God agreed by saying, Amen. The Lord be with you.